I feel like a whole new woman. No, no. Are you, were you actually gonna do that? No, you weren't. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> with Nala who is obviously now like fast asleep so I just thought you know what I'm not gonna attempt to try and get back to sleep I'm gonna come downstairs I'm gonna watch the rest of Strictly because I never finished watching it last night because I fell asleep on the sofa um, so basically my time zones and my sleep pattern is totally out of whack because I feel so wide awake right now um, and I, I know I'm gonna be paying for it later, but I'm just gonna edit my vlog. I'm down so early that the Christmas tree hasn't even come on yet. And I've got that timer set to like half five, six. Do you know what though? There's something I quite enjoy about getting up this early and being like the only one awake and feeling like the rest of the world is still asleep. Does anybody else know what I mean? I feel like most of you are like, no, I sleep in till a normal time. <laughs> I don't like getting out of bed. I don't know what it is. If I wake up past four, I really, really struggle to get back to sleep. And I know that Nala's gonna need to go outside at some point. So I was like, I'm just gonna get up. I just feel more, I mean, I don't look it. I need to put some eye, um, some little um, eye patches, but I just feel like I can get more done or that like, I don't know, I quite like that I feel like the only one awake and there's no disruptions and there's no, you know, the door's not going or my phone's not ringing or it's a very quiet time of day and I think my mind likes that. I don't know. I feel like the very small proportion of you watching this that are morning people will totally understand what I mean and I feel like the vast majority of you watching this will be like, no. On Sundays, I sleep in for as long as I can. <laughs> she looks so cute wrapped up. How are you feeling today, my little girl? <laughs> Nala's been asleep in our bed. Hello. You need to I reckon put her on here. Move my um, cables. a shower I've done my makeup properly I've sorted my hair out I've put some perfume on and I feel like a whole new woman having a really slow kind of lazy morning it's really rainy outside it's kind of the perfect concoction for a cozy Sunday um, and what are we gonna do on this rainy cold blustery sunday we are gonna go and sit in amanda and nick's garden <laughs> they've got like a marquee in their garden so that they can have people in the garden and we're gonna see if we can order the roast that we ordered last week so that amanda nick poppy sean and me and alf can all sit outside in our duffel coats and hats and eat a roast <laughs> it's quite a 2020 Sunday, isn't it? I feel like it's gonna feel semi-normal. I think it'll be an experience, so I'm excited for that. Um, we're also going to, I think me actually, I think Alfie's just gonna go to his mum straight away because obviously Nala's still not feeling great. Um, but I'm gonna go to an open house with Poppy and Sean and Alexia and Steve as well. Um, and Brighton is like known for its open houses. It's one of the things that I had never heard of before or knew existed before I moved to Brighton. Why is this camera so high up? There we go. But I absolutely love them. So they happen in the summer and then occasionally in the winter as well for like December and Christmas um, crafts. But it's where people open their houses and showcase lots of um, local artists work, whether that's paintings, pottery, prints, um, decorations, 
cards, like you name it, it's there. And actually one year in Vlogmas, I don't remember which Vlogmas it was, we drove around to lots of different open houses and it's such a nice way of supporting local creatives but also um, buying any Christmas gifts that you need to buy. So there is one that we are going to nip into today which I'm really really excited to go and see because they always go all out um, and they've done it this year where you have to book like a time slot so there's not too many people in there so they're being very Covid safe. That's that's the plan for the afternoon. Um, as you saw I was up at 4.30 but I did manage to edit my vlog which I'm really happy about and um, that's all ready to go and now I'm ready for the day so hope you're all having a nice Sunday as well whatever it is you're doing oh, your lighting looks very different from what mine did really oh I always roll on like this don't change my settings can I change it I roll like that I don't think anything changed yeah it did did it mm -hmm. yeah but you preferred my lighting so how does that make sense I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, we were going to open calendars, but also you weren't in my vlog yesterday. Why? You were in town and then it was just a very me just doing lots of house stuff vlog. I was in the garden with Nala, just <laughs> well, non-stop. I, I think I might put a gazebo in the garden and live in a gazebo for a couple of days with her. It'd just be oh. easier. I might camp in the garden. Do you know what though, guys? Saying that, this morning she's been a lot better. Yeah, way better. Even since just having her breakfast, it's been a long time since she's been out. She's going so, out every two hours now instead. Yeah, instead of like every half an hour. Which is lovely. Lovely! But at night time, it's like, I feel, I feel like I got so much better sleep last night. Like, way Do you better. actually? Do you? No. That's how tired Alfie is. He's just given up filming with me. <laughs> no, I'm still here. I'm just, I thought we were doing a podcast. I thought it was just audio. Um, Poppy really likes our wrapping, by the way. That's great, because it's for her. <laughs> I haven't actually checked the comments yet on that video to see what people preferred. Your audience are all going to love it. I don't know. I think they'll be very honest with me. <laughs> Today feels really festive to me. Does it? Yeah. Why? I think because we're going to get a roast. Yeah. And I feel like, because I've had the first, I've had like a good night's sleep for the first night in like five days. So I feel like, I feel just like I'm ready for, ready for the slowdown at Christmas. I've got quite a few of these to open. Sing a Christmas song. Go. Jingle bells. Go on then, that's not singing. No, I was suggesting it for you to sing. <laughs> no, yeah, this isn't for you, baby. That's Alfie's least favourite thing in the world. Like something like charades. Nah. Something like. Do an impression of this, nah. Anything that's like on the spot like that, that's your worst I'm thing, isn't it? I'm not the biggest it? fan. And your dad doesn't like it and neither does Poppy. I think it's just embarrassment. Um, how many of these did I forget to open? Day 11. Can you tell a Christmas joke? Mm, I can't think of one right now. Um, 10. Did she come back in here? Where is she? Suspicious. Well, another little elf. And today, 13. Where does Santa live? Oh, I had this um, conversation with Alfie in his vlog actually. Um, when you were growing up, what did you call Santa or Father Christmas or whatever you called him? Because me and Joe were always told that it was Father Christmas and that Santa Claus was the American Santa. Um, so we would always say Father Christmas. Um, but I'm just interested to know what you called, what you called him. Today's Christmas film of choice, on in the background, always, is all I want for Christmas. I think it's a 90s film, maybe even late 80s. I need to check. It's got Thora Birch, young Thora Birch, like Hocus Pocus era Thora Birch. I can't actually really remember what happens in it, but I have background watched it a few times. <laughs> I need to properly sit down and like take it in. But I think it's about his parents that are getting a divorce, which is kind of sad. <laughs> But it's cute. I waited for you. 
before I did this one. You've already opened two, right? You've left me 10 and 12. Yeah. Yeah, because we were doing it all 10. John Lewis Foundation. That's cool. Today you have helped somebody who is struggling to find a job to get back into work with special training. We've supported a couple of charities like this, haven't we? For sure, yeah. We paid for like training courses and also mm. all the travel to be able to get to the training course and back and like mini buses. Um, for interview the, outfits yeah it's gonna say all the clothes because yeah. that's one thing um i don't know how much you speak about the charity stuff we do i don't know dogs. that i have because i always find it such a like contentious subject because i feel like i don't ever want people to think we're talking about it so it's like look at us look what mm. we do but then at the same time i also don't want people to think we do nothing i think it's more that i feel happy knowing we both do a lot yeah um, and I don't ever feel like I need to like justify it, but at the same time, I like when other people talk about it mm. because it inspires me to support similar charity or that charity as well. Exactly. Um, and it raises awareness for the charity. Yeah, and I, I spoke about it in a, in a video of mine, and everyone was like, if anyone thinks of it in the other way, they're thinking of it wrong. Okay. Like, you talk about it, you do your thing, you be proud of what you're doing, and yeah, if people want to take it wrong, that's up to them. Do you know true. what I mean? And I was true. like, yeah, that is very true. So Alfie and I um, give a percentage of our entire revenue, so everything that we earn, um, e and each month we select a handful, usually two or three different charities um, to support with that money. Um, so that's something that we We've been do. doing that for... Three years? Three years now. Yeah. We've helped like the most varied selection of charities We try and t ever. We try and get a really good... Diverse. Um, diverse selection of different charities that we um, aim to try and help. Always things that you never know about, like for example with this, like with the John Lewis, helping people get back to work. One thing that people often when they have gone to training courses, um, and we've funded a bunch of training courses for people uh, to acquire new skills to be able to get jobs, or help them get jobs, and I never thought about it. the charity reached back out to us and said is it possible to help with funding everybody to have new clothes to be able to wear for their interviews clothes for their job interviews mm. and you I was never like I've never thought about that. Like that so of course yeah. so then we funded all the new clothes for them to wear another one that particularly stands out to me I mean we've genuinely helped so many different things can I say two yeah one is can I say three <laughs> let me have one okay I'll say two one, but you might say the one I'm thinking. I know which one you're thinking. Okay, I'll leave that one for you. Uh, one, How do you know? Because I just know. That's the one I was originally going to say. Uh, one was we helped fund a cafe to open for LGBTQA plus members and people that are trans to be able to come out to their families in a safe space. So we funded for six months a cafe to be open, but they were open purely for a safe space for people within Brighton Hove to be able to... Was it over 50s to, as well? I think they had a lot of people that were over 50 that yeah, found it particularly difficult. They found it difficult. And then obviously when it's open, they have to have the relevant staff with the relevant training on site to be able to help out of any conversations just in case the family didn't take it the best. Uh, I always news. think about things like that and how COVID has affected thing, like, things like that. Yeah. Massively. Like, yeah, so then, so funny. then another thing we did is we funded all their Zoom calls, so that it was the mm -hmm. same kind of thing, but with Zoom calls. The other one that is just so special is that somebody, there was a young boy, came to a pop-up shop I did in Brighton for Future Self, and with his carer, with his carer, and he's in a Who wheelchair. Is so lovely. They are the most amazing people ever. Hello, if you're watching. He was having a birthday party and wanted, it was like the coolest birthday party, it was like a fun fair outside and wanted certain things at the party, for example, like uh, teacups and everything, all the different rides and things at his party, which also had a lot of other disabled children attending, the rides to be adapted so that they could do them and use them like I might use them, but with their disability. So maybe wheelchair friendly or just more support. So we funded 50% of the party um, so that all the rides were like adapted mm, so that so cute. all the children there were able to have a nice benefit time. from the rides, which is so cool. Um, one of the ones that I... I, I mean, know which I, one you're going to say. I have... All of them are very, very close we to We probably helped like 50 charities. And they're all very... Ta like it's very tangible and I think that's, that's something that we found 
so nice is that we can say what is it that you need so we're not just saying what money do you need oh yeah it's not we're about... saying what is it that would be a huge benefit to you right now um whether that's washing machines and tumble dryers for the homeless shelter oh, yeah, which they needed those, yeah. um we and... bought a computer once for a um a hospice that is controlled by your eyes for people that were disabled and wouldn't be able to, didn't use have a, weren't able body to yeah. be able to use a computer. So we bought a computer that was registered for eye movement, which is cool. Um, Anyways. So there's this one animal shelter near local to us. And was it at the start of the year? There was a, there was a really bad storm, wasn't there? I feel like there? it was the end of last year. End of last year, start of this year. Really, really bad storm that basically just completely destroyed all the outside barns and stables and like... For the donkeys for and the horses. For the donkeys and the horses. So we funded for them to have new stables and also for the and guinea pig patches. it was pretty patches. expensive payment, but it was like... Oh, and the parrot rope. Oh yeah, we bought for the... No, but not just parrots. They were... Weren't they... Um, they had arthritis. Parrots, parrots with, with arthritis. Ar arthritis. We bought special ropes so, so that, they that they could, they could still grip, grip them better onto the ropes. But all the parrots there with arthritis. But the like the donkey. They sent us pictures of before and after of like the donkey. And My battery died, but we're good. <laughs> they sent us pictures before and after of like the donkey shelter all like blown down and fallen apart and broken. And then afterwards, and like pictures of the horse and the donkeys and is it horses or horse? Horses. What's the plot? Horses. It is very cool. I'm trying anyway, to think what other cool we didn't games. mean to get onto a charity, charity chat. As I said, I don't, I don't really speak about it just because I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know how people feel about it. But like you said, you know, I, I'm very inspired when I hear about other people speaking about different charities and where to help. But on the other hand, I'm also aware not everybody is able to help certain charities. But, but you can help by doing things just like sharing spreading them, the word, spreading the word. Yeah, literally just. Sharing them on your Instagram stories might help out with somebody that therefore can fund them. Like, it doesn't have to all be financial help. Yeah. It could be volunteering somewhere. I'd love to know if you want to hear me talking about it more. Um, as We've I guess I've never asked you, so I've just assumed no one would want... I don't know. I just get so nervous that people will take it the wrong way. But let me know if that's something that you want us to talk about more. Um, all of the things that we just spoke about and mentioned, a big chunk of those the money that has literally come in to be able to fund them it's from you watching this video like if you've yeah. bought zoe's new book a percent of all of the revenue that zoe's earned from that book is paying for these if yeah. you've ever bought a zoella product any time over the last three years that has gone to fund these things that we're doing this isn't like look at zoe and i being so nice giving a chunk of our money away don't get me wrong we could be earning that money instead but the money is only there because, because of things of, like this, yeah. Like the ad revenue from this video, there will be a piece of it that goes and funds these, like it's literally the people watching the video. Yeah, so true. So it's not like, not to say, as in like you could have the money in your bank, yes, you could be earning that money and have more money, but it is kind of like, they've made the money. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so you kind of, so it's like, it's, you guys it's, are kind of already helping. <laughs> it's, ev it's everybody. Yeah, it's like it's you're true. choosing to put the money there, but. And we always say that to our employees too, because it's their hard work as well. Like they are also helping these charities. For sure. Um, so it's like a big team effort. So well done guys. <laughs> you can feel good today. Should I open day 12? This is the excellent pioneers of sand dams. Today you have given a farmer in Kenya seeds to plant trees so that they can grow more food for their family. That's nice. Love it. So those are, we're up to date on this now. I wonder what 24 will be. It's a big one. I kind of want to peek. I really want to look. No, no. Are you, were you actually going to look? No, you weren't. That's bad. You can't be doing... Were you that, were you that kid when you were younger? You know me, to, I just, I'm very impatient. I have no patience. But then what patience. did you do on the 24th when you want to open it and get surprised? You're not surprised. I mean, it's already there. That's the thing I'm thinking in my head. Like, it's already under there. It's not like it doesn't already exist. It's not but like... But it doesn't exist in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. I just want to look. I'll look when you're not around. No, I'm going to hide this. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to take this everywhere I How go How much more me. would it annoy you if I went and looked and then I knew and you did it? I'm not gonna. You don't I, get tempted to do that. No way. You and Joe are so because similar. Because we're Virgos. I know that on the 24th, I'm gonna enjoy Saying seeing that, that for Joe the first was, time. Joe was the kid that always peaked in his presence. Did you? 
no way that Poppy, Poppy. would have. Yeah, there's yeah. No, Poppy still would now if she could. If Poppy could come into our house now, obviously can't at the moment, she would be bloody looking for presents. Yeah, it's that is true. literally some it's Poppy true. up. It's true. I'm hiding this now. No! I'm going to hide it. Right, we need to order the roast, don't we? Yeah. Because your mum said she can keep What's it warm time? in the oven. I don't know what the time is. Oh, I need to click my back. Do you want me to click it? I did it. I did it. Pick you up and do the lean back. No. Yeah, come on. No, 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 no. I really. What about don't. this one? I'm too tired for that. Oh, I need, do need to sort my posture out. My posture. You is should go get sports massage. Bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that long rambly chat. <laughs> might as well end the vlog here thanks for might watching. as well end the vlog here thanks so much for watching guys i'm joking um probably see you at the open house we're here hello everybody and welcome <laughs> do you remember when we used to watch those all the time si, these look so cute oh my god they're like so festive the painted ones. I know. They're my, we have purple ones, don't we? Uh, I love them. Purple what? Mushrooms. Yeah. They're so cute. Oh <laughs> Makeit11.com. <laughs> Keep singing, Alexia. <laughs> Let your hair. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. oh my god, you're blonde! <gasps> I love it! Oh, so nice. I thought you were wearing a wig. No! Nice. <laughs> Are you so happy? She's trying to go up your coat. <laughs> How cute are these little pots? Their noses! What have you found? Oh, it's egg still. <laughs> what are you doing, egg? Hello. Oh, I'm getting chilly. It is cold. Um, yeah. We're about to eat a roast outside, so oh, <laughs> warm up. <laughs> These are cool, like little doggy bowls. Doggy bowls? Ah, yeah. oh, that's so cute. I like how it's stippled. That's a nice cereal bowl. Mm. Nice and deep. Also, I like the idea that they're coming out of the ground. The tentacles. Cool. Such so a spoiled happy. little doggy. He's so happy. He's oh. Oh. <laughs> Steve, not everyone likes that he tries to ear scratch. <laughs> he ear scratch. We're at Amanda and Nick's now in the garden. She's made it all festive, got a heater. She's put little Santa hats on the chair. Nala Bear, got your little boot on. <laughs> oh, Carla. Hello. Hello. Hello oh. Hi, Buzz. oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thanks for that. The roast has arrived. I feel like we've come to a little. Please, sir, can I have some yeah, more? Like the little window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little window. Well, how many roasts? Oh, actually, you don't do um, Only maybe three. Thank you. This is ridiculous. Mmm. Tuck in everyone, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I do most of the wrapping with us. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? You wrap my presents and that's it. No, no, Alfie no, days. no. Mm -mm -mm. Dad just wraps mine. When it comes to people's like birthdays and stuff like that, you're always like, you do it. Do you wrap Christmas presents so that yeah. aren't mine? Let people mm -hmm. know that we are being COVID friendly. Yes, here. we are. The doors are open. Doors are open. Lovely air. You've done a very in. good job in here, I have to say. <laughs> We've got more going on. Sanitizer at the ready. Um, we're having a little game of Blockus Duo. I would highly recommend this game and the original, just Blockus. Amanda is player white, I am player black. You go then. Is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Sorry. <laughs> Can you. Uh, I really meant can Zoe go? I was like, there's many places you can go. Is that not literally somewhere you can't go? Yeah. You can't, oh, yeah. That's like <laughs> one place you can't go. Sorry. <laughs> like you I might need, as well just go like this. I need to, <laughs> con I need to concentrate. <laughs> tired. I feel it. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks Nick. Thanks for the honest. I'll be honest. <laughs>
want the honour? No, I like the honesty. <laughs> um, we're heading now. Um, look at Nick's festive jumper. Very festive. I'm actually very surprised very. you're the most festive. I feel like we should have come festive. Look, you're not festive in the I least. Know, I don't feel like I've been festive. I've not worn anything festive. I feel festive. festive inside today. Yeah, I do actually. But I've not worn so anything home, festive so far. Things. I do have Isn't some festive pajamas. Yes, good. Festive smells. A lot of festive smells. Festive but bath bubbles. Yeah, but festive I haven't onesie. worn a Christmas jumper yet. Which is very not start. like me, I know. I know. You, need to. you have inspired me. I'm gonna go home <laughs> and dish them out. <laughs> we are home. Just caught the end of Elf. Such a good film. I think it's up there with top five. I feel like I say this about every Christmas film. I'm now craving those bloody cookies that I cooked the other day. Baked. Cooked. I feel like my brain's not actually functioning properly right now. Yeah, I could really eat one of the gingerbread and white chocolate cookies. I might have to. <gasps> I've got a food shop coming tomorrow. What time is that arriving? I ordered some like chocolates and like snacky Christmassy bits quite a while ago because every shop online is, there are no slots for anything. So slightly worrying. <laughs> I'm going to have to venture out like a couple of days before Christmas and do like the big food shop and I feel like everyone else is going to be doing the same thing. So I just have these visions of me and the whole of like Brighton and Hove queuing before Christmas to get their food. We'll see how we get on but there's no online delivery slots anymore and I placed an order for like snacky party food and like tubs of chocolate but I didn't want to get like my actual Christmas day food because it's still too early to do that so the only slot I could get was tomorrow so I just thought right I'll get all the frozen stuff and all the like sweet sweet treats can someone tell me to clean my house <laughs> Puffy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Oh, guys. I don't know. No, don't pick up. We're in the same room. Can everyone wave? Oh, I was just ringing everyone <laughs> to hold oh, a joint horrible. meeting. Oh. To tell, to get everyone to make me clean the house. <laughs> Why don't we all go for a late night walk? No. Yeah. Let's all go for a night walk. walk. Let's all go to the and go for a walk. Like, just jumped off that call. I think everyone just needs a little bit of Sunday night pep in their step. I think I'm going to end this here because uh, I'm quite tired. I feel like we've come to the end of a great day. Um, I felt very festive today. I've loved it. Um, the roast was delicious. I loved playing a game in the garden and it's made me even more excited for Christmas time and getting to spend quality time even if it's just for five days or however long we can don't know what tier we're gonna be in next week but yeah absolutely loved it perfect day and i hope you liked it too and i hope you guys had a perfect weekend as well with whatever it was you were doing Mwah! good night